We can get your fort seven here. Welcome back. Got some other yo's to talk to here. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Uh, sure. yes. Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer uh -huh. them to the best of your ability. First question: As a child, right. were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Uh, for the there war? wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault <laughs> dweller. You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed yeah. that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, sure. second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Mm, Never no. been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human mm, that happens often enough for you to have a question about it you'd be surprised <laughs> how many wastelanders answer yes to that question fortunately the brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful since you haven't spent too much time in the wasteland i'll assume your answer is no last question that's would you have any problems pulling the trigger I on an enemy of the brotherhood you would say or that's correct human? I don't recall if I've had sexual relations with anyone who was non. Um, I'm gonna defend myself. My life's in danger. I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer, and the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason cool. to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Sounds good, Cade. It's cool, dude. So far, at least. I prefer laser weapons. But racist. But that's kind of the whole Brotherhood of Steel thing going on. Not that a synth is inherently a race, I suppose. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Uh, not what I was expecting. Hey, sound disappointed. You're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me. As well, get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this you're not wearing anything on your armor. You'll usually find me. If your power armor is too tight in the crotch, the pretty one's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Full plate sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate, hell. Oh, I thought they were talking about full plate. Like, full plate, male. you know, tub without five or six things breaking down. Whatever. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. <coughs> Missing legs? You feel like telling me how you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? Most people give Most up. Most people in your condition would have given up. I just wanted to hear your story. Sure. What the hell? I was fighting with the Brotherhood in the Capital Wasteland. Worked at a staging area for the power armor troops. Mm -hmm. Our position was along a ridge line overlooking the battlefield. I'd say it was a I'd say it was a drop, a... give or take. Quite a drop. Yeah, that's quite a drop. The enemy had no way of getting to us up there. It was a perfect liftoff point for the vertebrates. To make a long story short, the ridge I was standing on took a hit from a nuke, sheared most of the mm. cliff right off, and caused the platform I was standing on to tumble over the side. If I hadn't been test piloting one of the power armor suits at the time, I would have died. Armor Your helped. power armor helped you survive the fall? Yeah, it took the brunt of the impact. But I don't know if I'd call it surviving. The suit was trashed after it landed, and I lost both of my legs. Haven't walked since. Anyway, I'm sure you're here hmm. to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you cool. need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse Sweet. me, I'll bring it to my house and drop it off like my other suits. Oh, power armor. Wait, 
So where's my suit? Is it this one? Nope. Let Maxon's age Bay three. That's me. Can I work on it? Do I have the stuff. Can I pick this stuff up? Is it cool? Nice. Nice. <coughs> cool. A bit of steel. 250. Mm hmm. Super cool, man. I don't have enough. Uh... Oh, I can. That's cool. I'll deal with that later, though. Neat. It's, it's not going to be as good as my, my X01 armor. Which is fine. I don't have any problem with that. Quartermaster. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I will find you. <laughs> Looks uncomfortable. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now this is the stowage depot. And I, uh -oh. as you probably are. Oh, no. So. I'm the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye Tegan. on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies, so you're locked up in there? Wait, is there a bathroom in there? This is the place to buy them. Good That's to know. good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. And I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, and they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking right. to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. I Sounds use good. Some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. <laughs> it involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting, interacting with the local farms. The local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the make. After you're Sounds done good. with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, gun, mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Sounds good. Alright. Is that all? Now, what do I do? Tour of duty. A tour of duty. Proctor. Should work. A bit more about that extra work you mentioned. Hard to resist the lure of extra caps. As they say, you can't win a war on an empty stomach. Uh -huh. Stores don't replenish themselves, so I need legs on the ground to hit up farms in the area. We'll be requisitioning a portion of their harvest, and I need that food crated and ready to go for ready when I go. send my collection team. Your mission will be to ensure full cooperation of the civilian farmers. Any means necessary? You're giving me carte blanche on this. You said it. Like they say, if you weren't with us, you're against us. Think you can handle that? E yes, Good. I can. Here's the location. I'm pretty Convince savvy. I think I can talk to people and stuff. <clears throat> I just bring them up. I have shit tons of food. I can just bring them food. Secure settlement crops at Finch Farm. You think the Commonwealth looks bad? You should see the capital wasteland. <laughs> yeah. Just Do I want to you? Wait, that's not. You might want to check them out. Nah, I can make my own mods. Thank you. Although, yo, dance. Nothing. Your next move is nothing, bruh. Where's Bay 3? Am I like going all derpy? Oh, yeah. Do I want to man this now? Yeah, what the hell? Cool story, dear. Dance liked that. Of course he did.
Good old dance gave his life. He's giving his life in this place, man. Yo. Really, dude? This is not nice, man. They're just trying to survive like everybody else. That's why I'm probably not going to side with the Brotherhood of Steel. As cool as this little group is, I just don't foresee that being a uh, viable run for me. Probably get Dance to join me, though. I like Dance. I mean, Dance is a cool dude. So, yeah. Boop, boop, boop. I, once I get more of my housing development built in my, uh, would you stop beeping at me, computer? Jeez. Um, in Spectacle Island, I'm going to send all my yo's, all my yo's over there. Where you at, Maxon? I know you're somewhere, bruh. Hey. Have you familiarized yourself with the Prithen's crew? Are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Sure. What's the assignment? What are we talking about? The kind of assignment where all of the training you've done finally begins to pay off. Let's get right to it. Um. Shall we? What are you we'll talking? I mean, I'm pretty beast. Don't get me wrong, but. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, dude. Sitting on top of now, I guess to be fair, so, <laughs> for the most game. part, I super mutants are uh, wipe out everything aggressively like they line. kill everything. Understood? So that's fair. Fat man shells. What these shells do. The fat man launcher is an essential part of the Brotherhood arsenal. It's a miniature nuclear payload in a man portable. Format. A squad of troops armed with one of these is virtually unstoppable. If you ever have the pleasure, I don't of firing, need it though. Allow me to give you a word of advice. Don't fire one of them in close quarters. There won't be enough of you to bury in a shoebox. Is that enough to go on? Yeah, yeah, sure. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. If we have to fight, this is a good cause. No, we have a vertebrate bird on standby. Hmm. No, I mean that, that's go, that's fair. Like, it, it would not be good for me, for anyone, for them to have that. Dismiss. Time to go kill some yos. Oh wait, what's up here? What's up up here? Can I, like, loot or... Yes! Dude, are you kidding me, man? That is awesome. Yeah! I don't know that I want... Yeah, what the hell. Got some sweet loots in this place, man. Okay, but we're out of time in this video, so... In the next video, we're going to be riding over to the fort and kicking some ass, I guess. Follow me, Tuna. See you next video.